So this is the, cap, uh, the Deerfield Capital Improvement Planning Committee meeting for um, October 10th, and it's 6.05, and I'm officially calling the meeting to order. Um, um, I make a motion to approve the minutes of September 26, 2019, as presented. Thank you so much, Jack, for You're doing welcome. Can I second my own minutes? I wasn't here, so I can't. Oh, okay, so I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I abstain. I have to abstain. Again, was okay. not here, so. But thank you, Jack. Appreciate okay. that. So the, then the next thing, the first thing on the agenda is we, we need to elect um, officers for this coming year. And so... <coughs> Is anyone, anyone interested in throwing their hat in the ring? No. Skip? No. <laughs> so, um, well, you, I mean, the present or uh, the most recent officers have done such a great job. I make a motion that we reelect them to the and same I positions. That. I second that immediately. <laughs> I, I will, uh, I will be willing to co-chair with Jack again this, this it year. It worked out well last year. Yeah, I think it worked and out really well, because um, like you weren't here in the last meeting, so Jack just was right. meeting and it worked out perfect. So if Jack's willing to do that, okay, then. So I'm willing to, I'm willing to be the, the vice chair okay. and the secretary also. Well, I, well, I really you. appreciate that you have minutes all the time. It's, you're always you're current. That's very nice. Okay. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Well, 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 did I need to be more specific? No? Okay. You have to take in the minutes. <laughs> okay. I think we just did two positions at once. Yeah. Um, so then the third thing on the agenda is to um, discuss, like, procedures, et cetera, for the coming year. And I guess Diana maybe had some I do have ideas. some paperwork, uh, too, paperwork, too, to share with you and also with uh, in coordination with Diana. What I have here, I just did a package, quick little package of the bylaw, the new bylaw language that we're dealing with this year. There's also uh, FY21 capital improvement request form in there. And then there's also the third page. There is the present 2020 capital projects plan in there. And obviously we're going to have to address that and change some things because of uh, several of the special town meetings. So, yep. I'm sorry, I should have okay. sleeping well, I, here. Actually, I have that. All right. And Barbara, do you need I any of this to... stuff? I think I have a plan, but let me just take a copy. Okay, I'll just... <clears throat> yep. I mean, we'll say that with all the borrowing that we have coming up, we're going to have to do this year. This is a required piece of information that bond council asked for um, with regard to the wastewater treatment borrowing. Right. So, um, with the... Uh, make sure that we have everything that they're going to be looking for items as such, and I'll share that information. We, okay. usually, we usually update this in December, right? Before yeah, we, we usually update it in, we usually update it in December, but I think, I think with the special town meetings that we had, uh, I think we're going to have to address that, uh, uh, start addressing that a little bit earlier to get that information, so. So it's a so it'll be a true ref, reflection of what we actually have, but I don't want to jump the gun. Let's put on that on hold, and we'll get back to that capital plan for a second. But with the new bylaw language, uh, that's been approved. Uh, Barbara sent me the confirmation on that, so that's what we're working with from this point forward. That was approved by the voters also. Is this the complete? By yes. law language, yes. all that soup, right. soup to nuts. Soup to nuts. That's that's the bylaw that we have now, and that. 
So I think we can just review that uh, on our own. I don't think we have to go into any major discussions. It's uh, a good portion of it is what was existing before. There were a couple of changes. I think we're all familiar with those couple of changes. Uh, the one thing we do have to keep in mind as a committee, there is a deadline for this committee now as far as having our work done. And that's basically we're going to have to have pretty much everything completed by the end of February. Uh, so we're 60 days ahead of the annual town meeting. And that's going to be the, the biggest factor for us. Obviously, there is language built in there. So if some unforeseen items come up, we may have to again address it at the last minute. Hopefully, hopefully those will be far and few between. The request form, we can move on to the FYI capital expenditure request form. <clears throat> that's, that's pretty much the same of what we've been using. And if Diane is comfortable with that, I, th I would like to, in, you know, unless, and please comment if you have any concerns, I would like to basically keep it the same format of what we've been using because most of the department heads are familiar with it. And, and what it does is address the same questions that we have all the time and it makes them commit it to writing. So that I think is it's, correct. So I think it's, it's very important because um, the operating cost impact is something that um, we really mm -hmm. need to look at. Right. The only other thing um, that I had been going to a couple meetings and stuff, um, it keeps coming up, is, um, you know, how, how do you rate things for resiliency and green and, you know, reducing carbon footprint and um, all that kind of stuff. And so um, I haven't found any particular question that it seems that people ask. They just ask it in general. So when we talk to people, department heads. On, I think on we their, can do that as we, we talk to the individual and, department and heads. And that would be my only suggestion mm -hmm. for um, additional question on the application. Yeah. Once um, I think I once find we something that's right really once good. exactly once we get comfortable and we know what question or few questions that we want to ask that will address that then we add that in for for this year i think uh we just keep it in mind as a committee and as we speak with the department heads that's something that we can uh focus on a little bit more that seems to be what we've been doing in the last couple of years since this has come up right um because i haven't been able to from any town that i've just had gone and had discussion with after like presentations and stuff because I, I, I really like our form and mm -hmm. um, I think we have a better form than, than some of the towns mm -hmm. that have actually done presentations. We've improved right. this. And so when I ask them about a specific question, how, how do they get to the, you know, the answer, the kind of answer that would gen be generated, um, nobody has that written down. Right. It's just like sort of in a discussion. So. Right. Um, if I come across that, I mean, it's really something that right. I'm really trying to figure out. Right. So well, I think, I right, if you I'll, come across it, bring it yeah. to the committee, we can discuss it. And I think that's something that we could add to the form in the future because we're getting a little tight in time here. So I, I would hate to complicate, complicate uh, the situation now as far as getting the information to the department heads so they can get started on their request. Diana? I would just comment that, I, first of all, I think that's a really excellent idea that we should add, or we should encourage the department heads to identify if there is a green or energy savings or efficiency component to the capital request. Sure. And resiliency. But, and that's resiliency, it. exactly. Um, but yeah. we can do that, Carolyn, as part of the description. We can just sort of advise them right. as when we give them the advice about, right. you know, when they have to reply and everything, that they can put that in there. And I think that would be useful to consider because we're doing so much around that. To have that information in a place that's written down, it it's would on be, the form. 
It says energy. Is that what yeah, you Yeah, it says well, energy. It said, well, I think that means how if there's an annual, because then it says annual increase, because I saw that too, John. Well, it says in the next annual operating savings. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so if there's some savings. And then if there's any resiliency, they can describe that in right. the justification. So that's what I mean. There hasn't been any particular question that seems to capture what we're trying to, or what right. people are presenting. So. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a good thought. I think so. When I come across it, I'll let you know. Right. Do it. Yeah. And I think, as Diana mentioned, she's going to uh, put out a letter to all department heads, uh, updating them as far as a reminder, as far as the capital request for 2021, FY 2021. And as you had mentioned, Diana, maybe you could include a little. Uh, phrase in there referring to that and then the department heads can go from there and we can be aware of it as a committee and ask those questions when we mm -hmm. when we interview them and diana could you make sure when that letter goes out that uh maybe the committee receives a copy Absolutely. and and then uh if you cc us in that right way, exactly no. so we'll so we'll we'll know what's been out and I think it's very important that everybody's covered too, department heads, because I know sometimes they're not on the list, but uh, you know, like with the elementary school, there's a new person on board. You may want to make sure that that person is contacted in with with form, so they're aware of what needs to be filled out as as. John brought up a good point last year when we were, at least I thought, as we were going through this, and I mentioned this before, uh, some of these departments have like a three, four, five year plan, which is great, but it, it's good for this committee to have a paper request every year for a certain dollar amount for that project, because that way we'll know uh, what the cost is gonna be and if they try to do it for a three-year plan or a five-year plan, it's almost impossible for the committee to approve a whole three years or five years because costs could change. Also, the funding that the town has on hand, we may not be able to afford it in one particular year. We might have to put it off. So I think, I think it's very important that all projects on an annual basis has a written request, even if it's a three-year or five-year plan. So. Yep, we agreed on that. And I, um, maybe if you just follow up, Dinah, personally with the schools, <coughs> because we usually have a problem with them getting the deadline. Right. So we want to start this new. We want to make sure that we're yeah. touching base with with everybody, with all the department heads. You know the. So the November school committee meeting. If you can get it to the school committee as well, um, so that the school Everybody's committee on, is aware right. on the that same page. The staff needs to fill this out for December first. <clears throat> right. Ken's the school committee rep, right? To yes, us. he is. Right. Yes. So maybe right. that maybe should be helpful. Yeah. yeah. He was helpful last year, moving moving yeah. it along. So, and hopefully that will continue. But. Uh, but we also have other department heads too that we want to make sure they're not forgotten library senior center so on and so forth uh we just want to make sure that oh, everybody's right. contacted so uh any other suggestions for an information letter as far as requests going to those department heads um no except that um it's it, I just want to make sure that if you have a three-year plan like Barbara, you, a lot of times you, you'll do like a records or have in the past done a records where you split it over more than one year. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, we want to make sure that we're not discouraging that. That's right. not Jeff Exactly. That's not the we case just, at all. We just, right. um, it's just like, it's just like the highway department with, mm -hmm. you know, with some of their items yeah. spread over, you know, like, What's that? The uh, mower, I think, is in its fourth year, is it? I think. Mm -hmm. And that's like 26.5 <coughs> <five> or <coughs> somewhere around there off the top of my head. 26,000. 26. Yeah. 
So 26, yeah. So they should, they should still put in paperwork for that, just so we can keep a nice, clean track record of everything. So Diana, yeah. Understand? Are you? Is there? Um, I see that you have a, a plan, but do you have where or can I obtain? Like, is there a binder being kept annually? And forgive me if this is supposed to be kept in my domain because I am not aware that it does exist. But is there like a an ongoing binder of like all these requests that have been? My understanding was collected? there was one in that office. Okay, so but we've I, been I, updating I, right. it. Okay, maybe just didn't you know get updated last right. year, and I'll go look because right. there's a there's about a you right. know a thousand binders in there. Right. <laughs> also, but uh, I wondered it, if that's how it was being done. Right. Being kept in a also, binder. there's a track record with all the capital improvement plans that were voted at town meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I was just thinking one of the. Yeah, um, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, just to track it after the fact, I think it would be mm -hmm. good. I hear you saying about forms, so I understand what you mean. You want to request with each right. year, each right. item. Well, that's why, right. but that's I, why I thought it was important that all the requests go through you, mm -hmm. because that way you'll be able to track everything. And then once we, as a committee, vote on that, yeah. we can bring that forward to you. So... Everything's documented in that folder, okay. binder. Yeah, yeah. because what I'm thinking, obviously, I don't know how you, if you know where I'm going, but I think we should make this more like electronic, sort of like how we do the budget and have a, yep. like a spreadsheet from year to year. And mm -hmm. um, I find if we code the projects, like that's one thing I might add to this form, just a little code or somewhere right. where we can put right. so that we can kind of track it. I like to beyond the planning in, in advance, it's good to know after the fact, if you can go and kind of find this information, mm -hmm. even you know several years down the road, if you had a running spreadsheet sort of with tabs for each year, and yep. I think that would be really, um, you know, mm -hmm. it'd just be a, a good way to keep, keep tabs on all that stuff. Right. No pun intended. <laughs> no question? John? Yeah. If I'm a new department head, how, where do I the, not the 2021 request, but where do I submit information for the other four years? Or how do they know they need to do the other four years? We don't have any form for that, and I'm not saying we should. Yeah, I think that that would go through the cover letter that Diana's gonna do up. Okay. Right, and right. and I think John, we can um, change the form. I, I when I I've, I've done previous capital improvement plans, but in my forms, I always leave them blank because that way they can do. This can just be FY 21, 22, 23. They can just fill it in, and that way they can just give you one. Is because is that what you're asking? Are you expecting when they give no. you? No. If she's talk, he's talking about question three, right, John? No, I'm oh. talking about on the spreadsheet. Oh, I thought you were talking four, about the, the application. The, the four years off to the right. Oh, I thought you were talking about previous so years. <laughs> Sorry, in, I in thought the, you were talking the, about the application. And, in, and the, so is right. that? And the question on the back about what previously they've been, the right. department's requested. Right. I think if anybody has a problem no. with it, no. then we they can get help. I think you mean this, these are for current year requests. Right. How do we know what they're going to have on their yeah. plan? And how do they know they need to do it? Diana, and what are we oh, looking for? Well, that's going. Yeah. Diana's going to address that in her letter. Okay. And, when she sends out, it'll be the request for 2021, as far as completing the form, and then the additional four-year request of their five-year plan. So if they have 22, 23, 24, whatever, they will they will make note of that. And provide that information. We don't need this diagram. kind of detail. It's, no, if you agree, no. right? Right. We don't need this kind of no. detail. We just, just, we just, just think, oh, in form. 2023, I think we're going to have to spend fifty thousand for uh, a new truck. X Y Z, right? Yeah, whatever the case may be. Right. So that the would school be actually has like on a, this form, right? I mean, that's what this section is for. So basically, it's the total, and then it breaks it out. So no. I would assume. No? No, different thing. No, it could be for a completely new, like if the highway department needs a truck three years from now, or they think right. they will. This is 2021. They just put it down in the year. Yeah. What, what right. their request is for 2023 No, I, right, I understand. Isn't that what John's saying? How do we know what their future year requests are? It's right here, right? You Well, they can do a separate, like the highway department's got like a 20-year plan. Oh, the school right. school has like a 10-year plan. So they can, they can no, do. No, I, think, yeah, I don't think you answered her question. This here is if they need to spend, 
if it's going to take more than one year mm -hmm. to for complete a particular this project, project. Oh, right. oh, for that one particular oh, I project. See. I see. This is per project. Okay. So yeah, yeah, how do we know if they have? See, I thought we were asking them for their five-year capital expending plan, not. You're going to address for, that in, in the so they, letter when you send it out. You're going to ask them for their specific request for FY21 and then the additional four years so we have for the, the five-year plan. Maybe we should be reviewing the letter. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think actually what Wendy, I'll do is I'll create... Wendy sent that out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... Right. Now we... For you yeah. mean this committee? Well, Once. Uh, Diana is not aware of it, so... Right. Well, I guess it I'm just trying like to ascertain. To yes, I'm trying to ascertain how you got this information. How you got the years beyond, like what you're saying. It's right. not so. Right. So if it's not a multi-year project, right. again, if it's a multi-year project, it goes into the next year and the next year. But if it's a five-year plan, and they're supposed to tell you in two years, I also need a truck, and I also need this then where is that information? So I'm just supposed to ask them and they're just supposed right. to just come and up with a separate Right, and they will do thing? on a separate spreadsheet. Okay, the, I may change that. The additional I, four years. Okay, all right. Because the, so it's just basically, an, right. I'm required F, to get FY that FY21, remember, is the budget I for the capital. Yeah. And then Yeah. Uh, the, see, I think you and I talked a little bit about this. when I, right, I always felt that when I was requesting the five-year capital information from the department heads, I recognize that it's a plan. I recognize it's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a future projection. So it's, right. it's, gonna, it's, it's fluid, it can change. Mm -hmm. But I always, yes, I, we really wanted to get that five-year projection you know, by department of each project and their costs for the five years. Mm -hmm. and, and each year at town meeting, and I don't remember how we, when you presented your plan, you did, you, you had future years, right? Or when you went to town meeting, you just went with your current plan? What, so, what, uh, right. Yeah, so that's What the happens other, is the, they vote the FY, mm -hmm. the current FY year. Right. And then the five year plan is, that's it, the next four years is what could be coming down the line. Okay, right. It's but projection. It's but remind me, Jeff, is right. town meeting seeing the five-year plan, though, or are they only seeing the, what they're voting on for that year? I just can't recall. They're seeing this whole plan This whole here. plan. Okay, right. so this was presented but they know town they're, meeting. Right, but they know they're only voting a Correct. total on for that particular that. FY okay. year. Okay, yeah. so, the, and this is so the they're same. voting okay. the budget okay. year. So, so this is very similar. I think the only thing that I also added, and, you're, and, and John and I, or we didn't really talk about this, but I know you talked about it before, and, and you did, is a, adding the more, to, more specifics about funding sources, right. including stabilization, capital stabilization, mm -hmm. um, if there's other, you know, if it's coming from retained right. earnings or other, um, so that's And some departments will be, be able to do that. Some department that heads will be able to do that other yeah. department heads will not be able to do that right. because that, they're not sure of the funding source right and also sometimes they don't know about um, how to include um, things like you know if we have like say like we used to look at our capital budget we used to look at sale of real estate we would look at right um, you know we, we calculated in debt service mm -hmm. and how that went through our capital plan so we included you know kind of all of that right. as part of capital because right. that's all part of you know how you raise your we have budget. we have talked about that a little bit just a matter of uh, how in depth that we want to get and what will be supported <laughs> mm -hmm as far as Excuse me. Uh, the capital committee. So right. we're yeah. kind of growing it as we go. Mm -hmm. The other problem is, you know, when, with the grant cycles, it's really tough to estimate what, um, right. you know, we're going to be asking or need as a match. And it's not anything to do with that. It's, it's just we just don't know. I mean, we still don't know right. what we're going to, do for round four of the MVP, which is due exactly, in November. Exactly, because we don't have it right. And, and so, but we wouldn't need the match probably until January, right. February, so if we get it. Yeah. But, but at, we, at this point, you know, there's a couple more meetings I want to go to to see what kind of strategy mm -hmm. we're going to use. Right. So if that helps any. 
think it's yes, the same. Yes, Diana. Thing. I just want Another, to ask yep. one more thing about, so when we're asking um, for the information, one of the definitions under your, and this has been in, you know, was in your definition under the bylaw, uh, section 1016A, it says the committee shall study proposed capital projects and improvements involving major non-recurring tangible assets and projects that's involved. And then it goes on. When it says proposed, I guess the question that I have is when is that? I know that seems like a simple word, proposed. <laughs> but there are, there are a multitude of different um, sort of times that things are proposed. You know what I mean? There's this sort of conceptual idea of mm -hmm. we're going to study the library. And, you know, we're not proposing a project, but we know in year 2025 or 2021, Whatever. if this goes like this, we're starting something that is going to need to be funded. And that's one of the things you've been talking about. So I'm not trying to, I don't want to belabor that, but I just think that it, it's something that ha keeps coming up in terms of getting you the cap, like when we're talking, if we talk about land acquisitions, like you have on here, acquisition of land for a public purpose, you know, so when do we, when are we talking to you about that? Is it when, you know what I mean? Like, is it? I think when it comes, <laughs> I, I guess when, when it, it comes down to, project, right. when it's funded, when, money and, and, right. when it's when, conceptualized, when, the as, needed. As Skip said. when you know the money's needed. So yes. if we know the money's going to be needed in 2021, yep. are we talking to you now, even though we know, not that the money's going to be needed yes. in 21, like, or we talk, you know, now 21 soon, but 25. When you're going ready to go to town meeting to right. ask for the money. No, that's a different time. That's a different time is what I'm saying. Is it when we're going to town meeting or do you want to know when we conceptualize the project and know no. we're going to need the well, money? We were, we were no, when we need the money <laughs> for the upcoming year. Yeah. That's when you want to know. Okay. Yes. Well, although yeah. we've been informed about the, the library committee. Has but we haven't studied it. They've done a good job of keeping us sort of up yeah. updated on with it. Right. On what the what the plans for the library were, the, the status of the grants. Um, right. And we haven't. They, they, so but they're very proactive in. Yeah, so that's what I'm and, asking. But yeah, things thank turn you. up. But things turn then, up like New England other, National other departments are Like the school department is much less proactive. And right. But there are but other think, times, like Jack, when we just found out about New England Baker. So, I mean, we're, sure. we're talking about a two week period of time. Right. Right. And so. Uh, you know, there's nothing you can do. You get, we, the, we changed the bylaw so that the committee could meet if there was a request. Yeah. The idea is still to have. I, I think I'm that, not I talking think. about when we find out, you know, things, you know, late in the game, and that's when we have to come to you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when we know, you know, well in advance that we are going to be talking about, like we're doing a town buildings assessment project. Right. So, you know, we can presume that if everything goes according to plan in 2023, you know, say at the end of this five year cycle, we might want to be doing a building project. Like, I guess I want to know, when are we, when is it a good time to start talking about that in a planning perspective? If you're going to just do sort of the current right. budget planning and, and review, that, then that how it, do we start? Right. That makes it very difficult for the committee. As, as uh, Skip had mentioned, when, you know, when the request comes in and we're looking at the dollars, mm -hmm. I think this committee can address it okay as far as i think that's the committee fair. So needs when you have some, a number kind of but i also fire. think the committee needs some discretion when we see something coming down the road mm -hmm. with a town and we know at some point in time it is going to come forward and there's a realistic dollar amount then i think that's something for this committee to discuss whether we take any action or not absolutely that's, you know, that's, that's, that's for well, the committee. You can end up on a plan. Right. But we right. aren't necessarily going to study it until it's more right. of a concrete exactly. project, I think. Gotcha. Okay. And so. just Perfect. because it's on the plan doesn't mean it's actually going to be, you know, f either followed through or approved. Right. Yeah. It's, right. it's, it's not exactly. concrete. It's right. what the exactly. department thinks might be needed right. that year. 
Because right. I just think there's, I think you and I have talked about it. I think there's just a lot of things missing that yes. we could project. And even ha we could have a five-year, like, ghost plan outside of this plan just mm -hmm. for planning purposes, for budgetary purposes. Like, I think it's good. I know it's hard to think, you know, that far ahead, but really we have, right. we, we can. I, that's um, why the, <laughs> that, that year, that, that one year out, like right now, FY21, we know we can project that. We know we can lock in costs, and it's something that we can vote on, mm -hmm. and and pretty much make that. it pretty clear cut. I get that. From from that point on, the four years beyond yeah. that, it's that. kind of like a projection. Mm -hmm. The best we can do as far as what's what's being discussed, and uh, some things we can put on that, you know, five year plan. Other things we can't because we don't know what it would cost. So it would be guesswork at best. I and even, even now with this five-year plan, we're in a couple of those situations here that we'll discuss in a minute because we're, we're not sure what direction uh, the town thinks is the best way to go on them. And we'll, we'll need to discuss those things going forward. Excellent. That yeah. helps a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Also, Hopefully things, that's and cool. also things change. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. we bumped a year off of the ambulance replacement because the international was such a lemon, and it just didn't make sense to make it go another year because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it was costing us too much money. Mm -hmm. No, I, th I completely understand. So you, so you are looking sort of ahead, but I think how Skip put it, and, and Jeff right. too articulated it well about the, you know, sort of that's when you really focus and sort of study it, and it's when you have mm -hmm. a better idea of what the money is. And I get with that. And we yeah. have been including skims good. on our five-year plan, mm -hmm. uh, and and we appreciate their information. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's not coming just from Deerfield. There's, you know, two other towns involved, so, but it helps as far as planning purposes. So uh, Zach's been very good as forwarding us some requests so we have a, at least an idea of what we're dealing with with SCEMS for the town of Deerfield. Yeah, so excellent. So that's helpful. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. Sure. Anybody have any other questions or comments right now on what Diana was addressing? I think we should review the letter before it goes out, since this is your first year sure, doing it. And, and there and seems to, at least 15 minutes ago, there was some confusion as to what was going right. on. Right. I, I have yeah. no problem with that. As no, far as no. Diana, do you feel comfortable with that? Once you establish the letter, just CC it to everybody. And the only thing I would say is any comments go directly back to Diana, not to other committee members. Right, just right. So we just don't write open meeting law so we don't run into any issue if there's any changes or additions or whatever. And probably the sooner the better yep. because I, I, I would much. like to have those department heads have enough time so they're not under the gun at the last minute here. So is it the goal to have it to them by the end of October? Am I right on that? Or? Yeah, we usually try to have it to them by the end of October. Give them about a month. Yeah. Right, and it gives them a good month yeah. to, right. So any other uh, questions or comments about the bylaw language or the form for FY21? as far as the capital expenditure request form. So everybody's good with that. Mm -hmm. I would say let's just take a quick look as far as our FY 2020 capital projects plan. And as I said, we're, we're going to need to uh, update the capital plan here. Uh, once again, because of the special town meetings we've had and it will have it's had a you know pretty in, big impact on the plan that we had established. Uh, the first first comment that I have would be the uh, vote as far as the 19 million for the wastewater treatment, the South Deerfield wastewater treatment plant. 
uh, because we had numbers plugged in there on projections from David Prickett's study and that was projected out uh, for several years here as far as I'm looking now. Well, I never, sure. I never quite understood where the 19 million, right. I thought the 19 million was like kind of like a projection, it was an authorization. It is an authorization to borrow. It was an authorization borrow. to borrow 19 right. million, but it wasn't, it didn't refer right. specifically to any particular no. project or. Right, right. We don't, we don't and have the actual timeline right. anyway. And yeah. the, so I think we should just leave these. So I think, right, for the, for the wastewater treatment plant, well, we can revise I agree, and Skip. Just the, leave it blank the, for now. We can, or leave whatever we have. We can have them updated, though, based on the USDA grant. Right. Because that will come in first. Yeah. And um, Did Frigget Engineering ever complete the study? Um, I mean, the draft is pretty final, but I don't, I don't know if it's considered complete. Um, because we, haven't, we don't have a timeline, and we... We, you know, we're doing phase, we're doing all the phases on South Deerfield, which is different than what he had planned out initially. But um, I, I think we want to stretch it out another year or two, just because I feel like the opportunities for more grants are much more possible. Because I, um, you know, I have to go to an infrastructure meeting in another week or so, but, um, you know, for the state, because the state is, understanding that there's a lot of infrastructure needs in the whole state. So we're going to go, it's an informational night and, um, and it f fill out the needs for the community. So I want to make sure obviously our plan or our projected needs are out there. And then the state is supposed to be putting a bond bill together. So that, right. I mean, the hopeful is right. that, but also we're very hopeful on the federal level that there will be more money available shortly. So. I mean, these projections right. should be updated to the current USDA package that we have, but you know, the USDA already indicated to us that if we are good partners, we can apply for the second right. half and another along with them as well. So, okay. I mean, there's <coughs> multiple possibilities, and so it's really hard right. to commit. Well, that's that's. A, I mean, we can update right. the figures on as much right. as we should. But well, let me th let me throw but, this out and see what people think about this. As far as on the plan, as far as years going forward, just simply eliminate those, leave them blank. Make notation that 19 million was appropriate at special town meeting. Authorized. I mean, yep. And then, and I hate to say this because I hate doing this, but just understand that before we go to annual town meeting, we're gonna to have to have a meeting and get the, get the current figure for what the wastewater treatment plant is gonna cost in 21, hopefully, well, be able to get that and then plug that in at that point in time and do that for consecutive years until, I, I otherwise we're gonna be yeah. guessing a whole lot mm -hmm. in, in this plan, it may not reflect what we're truly getting into there, so. I would say I, it, would, it, would, it would settle out in the next two or three years. Right, that's and, right. And, and then also, I mean, to, and truthfully, we're gonna be hustling for money the entire time, so we would have a much better estimate of what the true cost is gonna be. Right. And, and but I don't know how people feel about that. I, I hate to wait till the last minute on something like this because we're supposedly supposed to have a plan done by the end of February, but I would like to be able to have a, a five-year plan reflect as closely as possible and be as accurate as possible when it goes to the annual town meeting. And you, you know, that's just a thought of mine. Everybody's got ideas and opinions, so I'm willing to well, listen to whatever. What's the time frame for the whole project to be completed, roughly five years? 13 years. 13. So 19 million over 13 years? Well, no, because we, that's not the old Deerfield plant as well. 
So. Um, so the 19 million over. Could be a seven year. Yeah. Because I mean, we take we're, 19 we're, divided by seven and just put in a round number. And well, we can have Dave. We can have Dave update this. Yeah. With the USDA loan at the moment, and then every time yeah, we get more information, yeah. and update more, it as we go. We, we can right. just do the update as much as possible. Is any money going to come out of uh, the town's pocket or the rate the sewer users' pocket in the next four years? Oh yes, but we just yeah. don't know how much they've all. You know, our, we have a reserve. A, you know, a capital right. account of a million already that has been already set aside right now and then we'll you know they'll be putting money aside every year I, in the rates i i don't know i think we should portray what's going to be spent and on here i think we should also put in brackets how much it's going to be funded with grants so we're going to see the true cost coming out of, to the the people in the town Can I? I hear what you're saying it, that's what that, I think. the the hard part is being able to predict that that grant amount because we really don't well, know. Well, just to get, I know we don't know. We don't know right. that the clarif the new clarifier is going to work too, but. Um, right, no, I understand what you're saying, John. But it's, it's give them, tell them what we know. <coughs> Diane? Like, so I think, you know, to you, you are going to know, you're going to have a number that you're going to put in there. I think I mean, at least one number you're going to know is your debt service. So once we, we have a gr <coughs> uh, an approved uh, loan combination grant from USDA in the amount I think of 11.8 million. So you know that's that's a sure thing, and we're moving ahead with that project. So I don't know in FY 21. That's more up you know Bar Barbara's <clears throat> alley about where we'll be in debt service, but we'll have a debt service number. You know once we get into this project for every year going forward, we'll have a debt service schedule. I mean USDA is mm. working with us on that. So you'll have that and then any additional monies you the the town may be contemplating for the future phases of projects, then we could in, you know incorporate those from from the study okay. and the information we have. Okay. But I think you'll definitely know you know, like what you're saying, basically taking that total and dividing it, I think we should really take what we're going to spend on the project and we already know and figure mm -hmm. out what, and know what the debt service is, put that in, and then, you know, speculate on those other things. Right. And I understand where John's coming from, too. <clears throat> because so. that, that debt service will also be excluded from the rate. So, you know, that's another thing. When I would do the bottom section to present a town meeting, I like to put in the the sources and it should show on there that, that where that money is mm -hmm. coming from, it would have an amount every year that it's excluded from the tax base yep. and, you know, that that's what we're using to pay the debt service. So, you know, that's part of what I think you should incorporate in a lot of your, you know, present <clears throat> I just, that information. Right. I just brought this up because I just wanted the committee to know that this is something that we're going to obviously have to deal with at some point in time and I don't think I think all of us are uh, we would like to try to avoid as much as possible towards the last minute thing as far as having to vote something just before annual town meeting it's not a comfortable position to be in so the sooner that we could address this I think the better and and it as far as myself personally doesn't matter how we do it. I think everybody's got some good ideas, some good input, and but I think it'd be uh, good to, at some point down the road here, and not too far down the road, try to determine the process that we're going to use to do that. So we're all kind of on the same page. Everybody feels comfortable with it, and that it's a, you know, it's realistic to be able to accomplish. How so. about if we ask Prickett to come in, meet with us? Is that that Could might that not make any sense. Yeah, that might not be a bad and, and idea. That, and that to, actually might clarify it. Yeah. Uh, so you know, so you would know the portion that is could be changeable. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, and I mean, we can say that it's we're we're going forward with the first eleven million, but you know, if the state comes out with a bond bill and right. they, or, if, op, or if some other portion of it, of it breaks. Yeah. And, ha and now there have to be emergency repairs on, and he must be he must be trying to prioritize yeah. things. Yes, like, because like I'm, I we, I feel like there hasn't been any infrastructure on the federal level for four. Well, this is it will be four years, um, you know, by 2020. So 
um, the, somebody wants to put, there's just a huge need for it, so it's happening. So we need to be ready and, and the, right. you know, really be out there to push for it. And I, so that could change the whole right. plan. But, I, but, I, Pr Pr but Prickett isn't going to make the decision of what specific projects. He's going to recommend to the sewer right. commissioners that, oh, we should do the but generator we, now. But if we, have, if we have opportunity, we're going to jump on it, Jeff. Well, I was just going well, to sure, sure, bring up that John has a great point, and I was going to suggest, and if people don't want to, that's fine again, but I was going to suggest if we were going to do that and have prick it in, it might not be a bad idea to have the sewer commissioners here and also the finance committee to no. lend light so so <clears throat> all all three groups can hear the same information hear the same information right. everybody's on the yep. same page and be able to figure out financially where we're at and where we're going with I this i think that's an excellent idea really and because it's very confusing it <laughs> can be and um but we missed out in 2008 when the economy crashed and they had they put all those um projects together on the federal level we didn't right. have anything that was shovel ready right. so the idea is we we need to break out all these projects including kevin's road repairs and stuff so that we have um everything ready to right. go Things and that's ready. and that's right. one of the reasons the mvp program is so wonderful is because they will do the engineering and permitting so mm. we're like already shelving some stuff right. so that we can um you know, if, if if we have the same opportunity, the, the HARP yeah. programs, again, we can just be able to really jump yeah. in. Yeah. And, um, Jack, you had another comment or another thought on that? Well, I guess more maybe, maybe a question. The, so, so, the, so, so far, the town yeah. meeting has authorized a million dollars for the, for the emergency clarifier repair. Correct. And the town meeting has authorized the town to borrow $19 million for other unspecified repairs, right? But do the, do the, uh, the coming specific projects have to go before town meeting also? So, <clears throat> so, for, so for example... Not, they've so already for been approved. What's that? I mean, we've already been approved for... Right. Approved. Yes. We would we just have to. We would just have to. I think we would just have to reflect it in the five-year right. plan. Well, how, I don't how think they would have down. to vote on it, but I think it would have to. So be. when they, when the town meeting voted to authorize spending nineteen million dollars, they weren't. They were. They the they were uh, basically giving the the sewer, sewer commissioners commission. the authority to do whatever they needed to do. To do the complete whatever the, they wanted to do the, the up phases. to Correct. right yeah. all the. Of the different f um, That was phases. my understanding yeah. of it. Well, what was voted, which, which is the South Deerfield plan and the infrastructure? What was right. the right. town meeting vote? It was specific to that project. So, so no one's going to come to the capital committee to um, ask for a, a recommendation on any specific? No. Um, yeah. Well, well, see, that's not true. I guess technically I feel, they do because yes, of the bylaw. Yes, I want to, I, and I want okay. to have that. We, once we lay out the plan, I mean, my intention is that we're going to come and put this in the plan correctly. Right. It's not that you have to vote on it yes or no because the town has already voted on it. Right. But At, for annual town meeting. Right. But, but we, it's but it still has to be in the plan. Still I has thought to be we already voted on it as a committee, didn't we? Like well, last year. Yes. But we did on the clarifier. I yeah. thought we did the whole thing. Nineteen million. No. No, because we because we no. we still aren't that went to that went to the uh, special town meeting. The nineteen we vote on what's going to be appropriated. Right. That's all we really vote on. Right. And, and, and the nineteen million we wasn't be, being appropriated. And we want to be transparent, right. so you're going to get the information. It's just that because we don't of the know bylaw right. language, they well, will have to want, present it to CIP. Right. C, CIPC. And, but it doesn't go to annual town meeting for a vote. But it should be, I think anyways, it should be included in the five-year plan just to reflect it so people mm -hmm. can see yes. for transparency purposes. But, and if I'm not right, that's fine. Let no. me know. 
Jeff, All right. I, I want everyone to be in, as informed as possible. Right. So well, cause there, I, know, I mean, there's. I, I watch. Uh, I've I've watched some of the meetings, and you know, and um, Deerfield citizens come and speak and express their opinions on how these pro how the ongoing projects should be handled, and and some of them are ex experienced wastewater operators mm -hmm. and managers and et cetera, <clears throat> and. Um, but but basically, it's not the. I guess my question is, it's not it's not something that that is going to be voted on in the future. The sewer commissioners are going to make the decisions. That's right. Are going to make the decisions on what's going to what what the next phase of the project is going to be. What's going to be built? What's going to be replaced? What's. Diana. Yeah, I just want to speak because there's a couple different. I want to answer that a couple different ways. So, as far as Project that we have right now in hand, the $11.8 million from USDA, that's a project. We already have, that's a, there's a PER, meaning there's a preliminary engineering report that's been done by USDA, which specifies the specific project that they have funded. Mm -hmm. So that is not, that's something we're committed to doing with USDA as our partner. Um, we can't really vary off of that or we will lose that funding. So that project is, is done and you voted that in your up to 19 million authorization. We're telling you now the project's only gonna be 11.8 million. It's actually only gonna be 8 million because we're getting part of that as a grant, almost 3 million. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> as far as the other phases of the project, We've identified much more that needs to get done through the wastewater treatment study that you're mm -hmm. referring to that's, that's about 98% complete. It's only not complete in the aspect of we're still finalizing sort of that last step of how, the order of how we're going to mm -hmm. do things, basically because we've had to be nimble to get the USDA mm -hmm. funding. So we originally um, were, broke out the phases differently and then, and then I think actually Skip Olmsted, as the chair of the finance committee, said, you know, just just go for the 19 million, do phase one and two, or just, you know, let's get, get what we need to do done. So that's where that number came from. <clears throat> but um, that that's voted for that specific thing. We have a project in hand. We're not going to, as far as I know, I mean, if it goes over, um, I'm sure USDA will have comments about that, you know, got, about going over that money. Um, but any other phases of the project would have to be voted on again by town meeting, would have to. It's not like they can just do the whole. There's other phases of the project, the old Deerfield plant and other, some other infrastructure that's still being decided how that's going to be handled. And, and there's discussions going on with, you know, Deerfield Academy about mm -hmm. that. And those are, those are going to be done by the sewer commission, but the town is going to have much more input on, on those discussions. So. I just wanted to be clear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions on uh, for now? One more thing. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Oh, sure. Take up all <laughs> I'm our so time. Sorry. But I think, just really to the point, I do think that the debt service for this project that we're talking about should be in your capital plan. So we can get you those numbers. In a short in a short time frame because that project is underway. So in, it that maybe would, won't be in 21 that we'll have debt service because we'll be in temporary. We'll still be in a ba you know temporary, but but we'll be getting closer to having permanent debt service and be able to give you some some more information about that. That's what actually, I'm trying to say. Actually, that probably is a better number to put down when you think about it because mm -hmm. that's actually what we're going to be paying out. Mm -hmm. Right. And that, that that's will sort of my point. Right. That right. The grant is wrapped into it. And, um, and, and then we can shift. If we have yeah. to add in other projects or we get other grant money, mm -hmm. you can change that debt service. Cause right. The debt well, service as John said, we can always break that out and make notation yeah. so people can see. I, I, I think that is correct, Diana. And, and maybe that would be the easiest way because then you can project it way out. Yeah. Not, I mean, because we were going to take some numbers and put mm -hmm. them way out because yeah. we have you know, some things that potentially could be long-term. So, okay. Another good idea. See what yeah. happens when you communicate? Yep. You can actually yeah. make some progress. I think, I think that would be the, the most um, useful number for okay. us. But I still think it's a good idea, mm -hmm. Jeff, to bring everyone together so we can talk oh, about I, it. I think so. I, 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 just... I think there's, every time we talk about it, there is some confusion because mm -hmm. we, you know, have changes like this meeting coming up in a couple weeks that um, Joe Cumberford's put together 
and the, the potential impact of that bill on what we're going to do. Yep. Um, no, I agree. I, I think it'd be a good idea to get everybody together at some point here. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> at least at least those three committees. Well, and the if governor will have anybody his, else, the obviously will, Diana. The governor will have his bond bill to um, infrastructure bond bill proposed um, after January. So when I think we'll have some idea if it's even included in the bill. Mm -hmm. um, so we could, um, I mean, that will impact this. We'll have that information before we do our final report. Right. Okay. Well, that sounds good. So enough for the wastewater treatment plant for now. We have a little bit of a game plan here. We can discuss it further in the future and put a little more form to it as we go along. All right. Uh, the other thing, obviously, we're going to have to uh, reflect the $357,280 for the purchase of the bakery, uh, New England Bakery, as far mm -hmm. as the land, the Oxford land. So we will have to make notation someplace there. Uh, well, can I interject on that, Jeff? Yep. When we do the fiscal year 2021 capital projects plan, There'll be a column instead of fiscal year 2019 after annual town meeting, you'll say fiscal year 2020 after annual town meeting, and the bakery amount will go there. Correct. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, because it was, it was, uh, it was after the 2020 right. annual town meeting. Right, yep. So, now let's see. Yes, it would be after the. How is that funded? How is that being funded? Taxes, right? The three fifty-seven. We're just we're doing a short-term <coughs> bond. No, but we got to huh? Borrow short-term borrowing. Short-term borrowing. Yeah, but okay. How's the borrowing going to get well, paid back? That will you going to wait till you sell it again, or? Uh, well, we're hoping to sell it right as soon as we can. Get is that the plan, plan, though, to pay off the borrowing with the sale? Yes. Absolutely. We should set, be able to sell it for more than what we bought it for. This is what we sold it for. And Dumont Corporation paid $100,000 almost an acre. Right, yeah. So, so so it's not coming out of the tax, won't come out of the taxpayer's pocket then? We're hoping well, it doesn't. Don't sell it. No. Right, well, if we don't sell it, it'll come out of taxpayer's pocket. Yeah, right. I'm assuming it's until we sold. Assuming assuming it's sold. Right, until we sell it. I'm hoping that the combination of the um, I mean, obviously, where our highway garages, we weren't able to, I mean, that was a municipal use, but between the two, it will have covered what we had spent. I just want to back up a little bit just to make sure we're all on the same page. John, you brought up a, a point, but would we need to go... the 2019 after town annual town meeting will we have to go fy 2020 after annual town meeting yeah we would we should just spend yeah. the money yeah even though it was voted in 19 yeah okay yes it's fiscal 20. right yep yeah, because it's fiscal 20. yep so okay very good and there's other things too i forget what they were right we also uh well you match you match the culvert on mill village um you know we that was capital right on the yeah we'll have to address that and we'll have to also reflect that uh The stabilization, capital stabilization fund was only voted at 150 instead of 250. Thousand for the for the dollar amount. But that's so we'll have to ref we just need to reflect that that it was it was only approved for 150 thousand 
instead of the 250,000. But where a notation? On the bottom, yep, yeah, for notation. But then there's going to be two lines then. Well, what um, happened in what happened in 2020? That it was only 150 instead of 250, and then we'll have to say for 2021, here's what we did. If for recommending, right? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. We just on. You can on, put in parentheses. It you just voted 150. Right. Because you could just say, CIPC is recommending transferring 200, 250 to the capitalization, capital stabilization for 2020, and then you could put in parentheses after the 250 voted. I don't think we should mention that we recommended 250 at this point. I think we should just put down what we, what was done. I don't know. I, I think it's important to John. You need to you, you need to um, capture that we did in fact recommend 250. Okay. And that yeah. it was voted at 150 because right, of it was a, budget a budget decision. A budget decision. And so what you're trying to do is, you know, why we made such an effort to, to fund the stabilization is that we have a tendency to um, always, you know, uh, short ch shift capital improvement. So right. you want to capture that trend every year. At least I think I think it's important. Well, good. Right. Yes. Again, transparency and, and right. you let the voters know because people forget what's been happening. Yeah. yeah, as you far as forget. what you're trying to establish and right. and what's actually taking place. Instead of a comment, you can just make a separate line in the in the plan itself. That's what I'm starting to think too. Maybe, it's, it's just maybe make instead of instead oh, of a, John, that actually, just like yes, a, I just actually put it right like in that. And, you he, know. Yeah, just here's what we recommended. And then, and then we, we can go back. Like yep. Expected to be requested, we could. Yeah. Put that amount. Yeah, there. I like. That's a good idea, Skip. Add, Actually, yeah. Just add it right into the. Instead of right having it written out, just right. have it in a, call, a specific right. thing. I just yeah, think you be, need to once capture again, that. Be just something, right? It, you just have to update it after the meeting. That's all. Yeah. Whether it actually took place or not, as far as what was voted. Good thought, John. Skips. Yeah, okay. So uh, obviously we're not going to decide all these tonight because we'll need to uh, further discuss these, but I just figured I'd throw out some of the obvious things that I saw tonight to give us something to think about. And so for our next meeting or two, uh, when we come back, we can actually try to uh, coordinate this and see what we can do as far as straightening numbers out for the spreadsheet. You know what we don't show on here is, I'm going to go back to 2019, we don't put on here what was actually voted in 2019. So I'm, I'm thinking of this in context of 2020, which of these, there's three columns here that reflect 2020, requested, CIPC approved, and CIPC not recommended. Right. Which, our last, our, what happened at the town meeting as far as these items go? Were they all voted? Should we say anything? Yeah, in, about um, it is in the annual report what was voted as far as the, uh, the items. Yes, please. please. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I'd like to help. Um, I think that we could help address some of these concerns if we just change the format of the of the plan a little bit and um, the spreadsheet yeah. the spreadsheet right we can figure these things out like I think what I have done in the past is you have a column at the top that just says R and then going down you know you have a little note where there's recommended you know you can you can so move you do the a columns. code yeah you kind of can move the columns around so they're not so unwieldy and become you know amount requested not recommended and there's ways we can put in like I just because I used to put eight years on my plans so I had little columns with little codes and I know it seems tedious but it's a lot but you, when you're trying to get a lot on a piece of paper, it, it, you can do, Diana, do things that way. So I'd copies? love to work with you guys. I, right. I, could you do copies for us for our next meeting 
So sure. we can actually sit down, and look at that. Yeah, and I mean, this see. is just, and this has also got like a bunch of columns on it that are hidden, so you can have different columns because you guys might want to see different things than than you necessarily bring to town meeting, and you know, so there's ways that you can have a lot of information on on your sheet. I think all the things you're wanting to know, um, you know, we can basically keep better track of if the columns right. were set up a little bit differently. Right. The only and, and I agree, uh, obviously, <clears throat> when you can do something like that, the more you show, the better. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, you have to be a little careful because you don't want to make it too complicated oh, for I the agree. public because right. when they walk in to the town meeting, they pick up the sheet. For most of them, it's the first time they've seen it mm -hmm. or heard about it. And then trying to fall, it can be a little confusing. So I just want to make sure that we don't try to provide too much. I agree. All at all at once. So, right. uh, but I like right. that idea. Even if even if we had that, if it works, great. That we think we could be comfortable bringing it and presenting it to uh, the town meeting to the voters. Uh, if not, then maybe we could even work, use that as yeah, a is, as a worksheet. Yeah, it's an Excel an Excel worksheet, so you could you know right. you can change it however you want. But it's right. just a, yeah. I mean, okay. And and yours, I'm sure that um, it's very similar to what you have. It's right. The information just laid out a little bit differently. Okay. Thank okay. you. Appreciate that. Is there anything else that people see on this that we should address at some point here. I'm not saying we have to do it tonight and we don't have to make any decisions, but I think we need to obviously update because of what transpired. We had several, well, three special town meetings and so a lot of money got added during those town meetings. So I just, myself, I feel we need to reflect that so going forward, people can see where we're at financially or, or what we've done financially. Well, I think um, at some point, we're just gonna have to um, do some kind of inventory. I mean, we're really trying to put together what the culvert replacement plan is in town. Mm -hmm. um, we have 119 river crossings or stream crossings right now that probably within 10 years will have to be replaced. Right. And they go from 20 to 40,000 size that our highway department can do and that Kevin is, you know, working on as as far as planning, you know, over the next few years. Mm -hmm. um, to big ones that we have to engineer and, and go out to bid like Kelleher Drive. So, you know, that's like a million. Right. And, you know, I'm hopefully going to um, figure out in the next two or three weeks whether to go into the bridge program, small bridge program, or um, submit it for the MVP, or both. Mm -hmm. I, I have got mixed messages today at the State Commission, which would be the best route to go. So, you know, I got October 30th is another big funding meeting with all the different programs. And um, so I'm going to go to that and then. You know, we're going to meet as a steering committee next week, and then we'll have another one scheduled before we come up with a final decision. So, I mean, there's a lot of thought put, put into it, mm -hmm. and I don't want anyone to think that I'm not trying to share the information. It's just, um, you it's had, been six right. years of collecting data to get right. where we are now. You had a, a culvert plan laid out with almost like some priorities and that with a, with a spreadsheet itself that you uh, presented to the finance committee, I think, at the end of the meeting, uh, or or before, and I should the, say, a, at the a beginning. Rough draft. I don't, right, I, a rough it's draft. Not, Could you possibly provide that to this committee? Yes. So I'll, we could I get an try. idea as yeah. far as, because. The problem is it's only, we're only like. Right. We're not completely done. Right, but even if I it's know. a draft, so okay. we can get well, Just an as long idea. as you know that it's not. Right. Those I mean, are. I, I'm, right. I'm trying to give you as best figures as mm -hmm. possible. Without, right. right. I mean, because it's it seriously right. is. Many, well, at least many that's something that this committee can look at, and once yeah. again, because. I can give you. I can give we, you the map. I mean, we have right. a map. We had the FERCOG right. has done a map of, of what we have so far. 
Right. But what's missing is the center village, you know, is the, we're down to the village here. Right. And, and, and the Kelleher Drive one isn't even listed. Yeah. I mean, it, okay. that just came up because right. of a class right. that was at the fire station that came over and mm. they did an inspection of that culvert as, as an example. And that's when we found out right. how dramatically um, degraded it was. Yeah. I just, I was running late to that meeting because of Boston, but uh, I just saw a glimpse of it, so I didn't get one of those sheets, but I thought that might be helpful for this committee, yeah. just to have the information. Not that we're gonna act on anything, but if we have that information, I'll, I'll we can at least usable. take a look. As long as you understand right. that it's just- It's a draft. It's, it's a draft and it's estimates that right. um, I've put together, and I'm certainly not, and I'm right now I can tell you I'm not an engineer, but I've had Mm -hmm. Six years, well, actually since 2005, of flood-related right. damages that I can kind of ballpark stuff. Mm -hmm. And so that's really where it's coming from. We have had had very little engineering except for specific culverts that we were already getting right. funded for under grants. Another thing that's going to be coming up also is I think everybody's aware that there's a building committee and uh, yes. they're doing they're doing uh, uh, the study time? on the town buildings, and it's not a feasibility study, but it's a look at the time town buildings to get an idea of what needs to be done, what conditions they're in, so on and so forth. And once they complete that, and they're thinking that it might be sometime here, uh, I believe it was November or something. They were thinking possibly. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're just awarded and it's pending negotiation, so that um, would occur, and then a contract would have to happen. And then I think it, I think in the um, note after notice to proceed, it's like 60 days. They have the 60 days to do the project. So you know, we're right. we'd optimistically be getting things for you know this budget season, but you know, we'll know more to as get it's some information along, but, for this budget season. Right. Right. But, right. Yeah. And, and but I mean, not a, by December 1st, not right. when your pro process yeah, they've, is. Yeah, they've done a great <laughs> job. So <laughs> yeah, any no. information that they can, that obviously they can provide. Oh, absolutely. As we move along in the process. bring that to this committee. And I, once again, I think that will help. And I know it's a lot on the plate. <laughs> There's no question about it. We have a lot of different things going on. But I think it will give this committee a little more insight, too, as far as some of these buildings. And once again, the decision's obviously going to come down to town administrator and select board, but it will give the capital improvement committee uh, shed a little bit more light. Let's put it that way, as far as there'll be a lot more discussion. as far as information to right. move forward with it. Right. We'll have a lot of rough draft, but the idea yep. again is to get information out there and then to hustle to see if what kind of grant programs are available right. well, and we may run into this committee with this year because we've been doing this for a few years now the committee's been basically uh the same there have been some things that cut and dry the requests here it's nice to have this on paper as john pointed out here it is Jack pointed out, and John pointed out, all of us agree that if it's not on paper, it makes it pretty difficult for us as a committee to where to put it, how to put it, you know, what's it going to cost, should it be included, should it not be included. And so we're going to have to make a decision as far as a committee down the road here, I think, anyways. Are we just going to stick to the paper request and that's it? As far as if it's not in writing, we don't deal with it because it's, it's <clears throat> difficult, I think, to try to project what's going to happen with the senior center, what's going to happen with the church, uh, what's going to happen over at the library, what's going to happen. You know, it goes on and on and on. So, you know, the Oxford land now and then we have the streetscape project going. So uh, there's a lot of things there that we, I think, either need to coordinate or just simply say, if it's not on paper, this committee doesn't deal with it. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the committee to discuss that 
at a further date, but it's just something that I think we need to address as far as what direction this committee wants to take and what, and what this committee should take on. We have to try to figure that out, I think. So. I, th I, don't, I don't know if you're, you know, if you're sort of referring. Oh, I'm sorry. Bob, are you waiting to speak to us about something so we could do it and you could go home? No? Okay. She's, she's on the committee. She's an ex officio. Yeah. Oh, okay. We both sorry. are. Yeah, we're here. We're here for, for you. All right, gotcha. Information <laughs> input. My bad. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I just want to, so in, in stating that, I kind of want to bring that back to my point about the, the sort of when is the, when are we kind of, because I think that's sort of referring back to what I'm saying as well. I think we're agreeing that um, we, I think, can give more information ahead of time. We can't give you specifics, like you're talking necessarily like to conduct a study mm -hmm. and to make a recommendation to town mm -hmm. meeting. I'm not talking about that level. Right. But I think we should have, um, you know, more information ahead of time about some of the, the projected things that we're talking about that, that, so that you can be more nimble when those things do come up. Like all mm. of a sudden, like, you know. Like well, just not coming out of the cl a clear blue. Right, right. exactly. Also, that's last what I minute, mean. oh, by the way, right, exactly. we're going to do this. Because right, that's yeah. sort of what I feel like, Jeff, when you were saying that, you know, it, or, or, you know, I just, I feel, I felt like. Um, I want to be as, as transparent as possible. I don't want to um, overwhelm you, um, you know, with too much information, and I don't want to do that to town meeting. But I do feel it's important if we know that a project is coming down the road, even if it's like three to five years ahead of time, because that's what sometimes it takes to get these projects like planned and implemented, then I think you should be you know, talking about that and, and weighing in on that somehow, even at the conceptual stage of these projects, because that's a lot of what we're having a discussion about later on is, is who, who's sort of known about it and where are we at in it and how far down the road we are with it and how right. are we letting people know about it and you're, you're one of the way, means that we get to talk about these projects mm -hmm. through, you know, this, this you know, mechanism right. of your meeting, so. So. No, I, I agree with you, it, but you. I, I really do believe that uh, I just wanted to throw that out for all committee members, something to think about, mm -hmm. and I think it's important for the committee members to determine, you know, where they want to go with this committee, how much should we take on, and should we limit it to just these written requests and a general projection for the next four years or do we try to gather as much information as we can? Uh, well, I think it's two separate things. I think we do have your current request, which we're gonna make recommendations on, and then you also right. have your ongoing plan, which you're gonna have estimates on, so I think it's almost two separate. Yeah, yeah. and I can, I can understand your point, no yeah. question about it, because that's why we do bid uh, vote yeah, just the FY year, right. one year, not the whole. But we also need right. estimates, you know, five, 10 Right, years going, going forward. Down the road. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that is going to put people at times in uncomfortable uh, positions because people are going to have to make decisions. And, you know, the select board and, you know, the, obviously the uh, sewer commissioners and that. And so it's, it's, you know, it's going to be a little, little tough. But, and obviously you people are going to be included because you're, you're on the front lines with this. And so we as a committee can only... I guess we as a committee can only go as far as what's, what the town leaders basically and, you know, town administrator and allow us, you know, uh, you, you're going to have to give this committee some direction, I guess. It's easy for us to say, yeah, well, you know, just, but if right. it's going no place, there's no sense of us putting in a lot of time and energy. Right. Right. For well, anybody, I, right. I think, I'm talking to everybody. Right, right. I think you're an integral part of, you know, the the, the sort of 
you know, long, long-term planning that we've been talking about around a budget, around capital planning, around the projects that we're working on in this town. The board is talking about prioritizing. Um, you know, the, the town is at, I've said this in, in other areas, but the town is at, at the cusp of change. You know, um, businesses are changing, rapidly changing in this town, coming and going. Um, people, you, you've built a, you know, luxury um, condominium development at the base of Sugarloaf, and that's bringing a certain, uh, you know, demographic of folks here and expecting service and, and things, and we hear, we're hearing, you know, at the state level, we know that the Student Opportunity Act that is going to equalize education costs in the state is going to have an impact on Deerfield in that you could end up receiving less money from the state for your education costs. So all of these things, in addition to, you know, the, the issues around development, the issues that we have with the, you know, the, the stuff we talked about working with the nonprofits, um, all of those things have to be sort of part of the mix. And then planning for the town buildings and the town services going forward, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, I think that's, you know, that's what I'd well, like to, in addition I, and, to the date, you know, I know you guys have to do your every year stuff, right. <laughs> but I, I, think I think that's we're a getting big, way big out of, if we're talking right. yeah, no, 15 I know, I'm years from now, right. we're getting way yeah. beyond No, no, I'm just saying, yeah, I know, but I'm just, I'm not saying necessarily you have to do that, right. but I'm just, but, but I'm just saying like, for instance, when we're talking about this sewer project, I mean, we're talking about a project that is going to span, mm -hmm. you know, it, originally you we were talking about 13 years, so mm -hmm. I mean, to, that's it still just, might be. it does, even building right. projects, you're talking about getting this town building well, assessment, just, those right. projects could come at you and like, I'm right. just saying they could take multiple years to even, you know, plan and implement right. and, and to right. be thinking about that and the big picture right. is. Right, painful. like Jack says, we don't want to get too far down the road, obviously, right. you know, because we could get way ahead of ourselves, but at the same time, I think it's important because uh, we've got to figure out how we're going to pay for all this too. And is that the capital improvement plan uh, responsibility? Well, even that's beyond us. We're right. Not that that that's what I was going to say, Jack. Yeah. Now we're, we're in a situation where that's beyond us. But and you're part of that discussion. Yes, you're we part are part of, of it. The capital plan of the town is part right. of what has to be considered in all of the discussion. Right. That's all I'm saying. So yep. you know we that. I, I, I just want us to work together. We'll give as much information as we possibly have. Mm -hmm. and, and I just want, and I am apologizing up front because, you know, if an opportunity comes that, you know, uh, allows us to, to do some of this stuff, you know, we do have to meet on a short term basis. Yep. But that doesn't mean that I want to short shift the process. It's just if the opportunity comes, for us to hustle some money, we need to be able to, I mean, that's the advantage of being in a small town. We can make the decision, oh, this is a good program, let's do it. And, and we have a lot, we're, we can be flexible. And so I'm just, I'm apologizing up front that there is sometimes short notice, but I, I feel like having as many people involved in the process as, as, and have eyes on the process and have some input doesn't mean right. that we have to agree. Right. I'm just saying yeah, no, that I, I, understand I feel what you're it's saying. important that we have the discussion and that we just get together to meet. And, and, and I can't promise that it's always going to fit in the December 1st kind of right. program. And we talked about this last year. I and I, w I have to say that the department heads in general are, have been very cooperative. And some of, some of them have been beyond cooperative and, and have given us so much information that we were. Yes. We were actually astonished, that, astonished and impressed that we had such good employees, you know. Um, so, and we also agreed that if there were, uh, there were things that uh, were emergencies that, that we would be willing to meet and we would be willing to consider them. And, you know, we obviously, um, well, you obviously know that I like to have a little bit more time than we've sometimes had. Um, uh, and I'm the same. I have you to know, admit, I like to really look at things. Yes, and I don't really like to have to come to a meeting and and hear about a project and then vote right then. I don't. I feel very unco very uncomfortable with that. Same here. You know. So. And I understand that, and but, I, I yeah. apologize. Yep. 
And so, I, I really do. So I wouldn't really be in favor of, of the committee saying, well, if it's not on that piece of paper, we're not going to we're okay. not going to consider it. You know, it, it, I'll, you know, although you know, and partly because I think uh, the department heads are, are all they, they seem to be perfectly willing to accommodate the December 1st deadline and you know. I think everyone tries so. to be conscientious. Oh, I no think one, so too. No one is out. Yeah. Um, that's why I think it's, it'll be stuff. important for that letter to make sure that it gets to everybody so somebody doesn't get missed in the shuffle. So, I mean, all in all, last Even year, here in the town office. Last year, I thought things went, went quite smoothly and for the most efficiently part. for the most part. And, you know, so okay. hopefully we can accomplish the same thing this year. Yes, hopefully. Anybody else? Any comments, concerns? So do we want to set a, a meeting date for the next meeting? Sure. Do we want to meet in November or do we want to wait until after Can, December? Can I get a comment on the spreadsheet? Sure. Okay. Maybe we should have a section down below that summarizes the funding for what's above. Like total grants, borrowings, raised from taxes. And that total will agree with the total that's going to be spent to match up. To match up, so the taxpayers will get some idea where the money, where we think the money is going to come from. Do you have that on your spreadsheet sample? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay, so our next meeting, if you could provide a mm -hmm. provide us copies of that, so we can review that, because that is a good suggestion, John. Right now, it's just down there as a notation. Right. Yeah. So the question is, do we want to, as Jack was saying, do we want to try to set a no. meeting in November? Uh, or should we set a meeting for... For like the first week of December or something when we... Yeah, I was when, thinking that. When theoretically we'll have, we'll have the, a big chunk of... Yeah. Right, we'll, we'll have, have a good yeah. chunk of the request, hopefully, mm -hmm. in hand. And then we can take a look at the... Request we also can take a look at the sample spreadsheet there. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, you'll be able to, Diane, if you don't mind, do do that yeah. letter out. Yeah, I'll send that out in the next, yeah. I and have you can CC so us, and if anybody has any concerns, they can reply directly to you. And then that way that can go out by the end of October at the latest. Mm -hmm. If next earlier week. would be great. And... Uh, then we'll just see what comes back. So let's take a look. First week of December. Um, how about the fifth? Any chance we can meet on Wednesdays? When's finance going to meet? Anybody know? I don't know when finance is going to meet. That hasn't been determined. We met, I thought we were, last year we met Tuesdays and Thursdays for the most part. I think sometimes we did Wednesdays. We did before the second. Oh yeah, so maybe we finance did a couple us. of them towards yeah. the end. Carolyn, finance for us. No, us. Us. Before the second. Yeah, we did. Meeting. Yeah, we did. Like five thirty, we were trying to meet. What day so, did you mention? I I I like Wednesdays. I don't know about the rest of you people, but that's fine. sure. So okay. December four. December four. Five thirty meeting. Would that work? Wednesdays. I don't. I don't uh, I haven't. I haven't done out the the select boards. Well, let me yeah, let me just do the select board one. Is the select board at seven? Uh, we've been doing six. Oh. Okay. So we um, do five. So we're October twenty third. If you serve sandwiches. November. So November sixth, <laughs> November twentieth. Um, so we would be meeting December fourth. So if we did five o'clock. Can we do five o'clock? That's up to <coughs> the members if they can do five or not, or if they have to do later. I don't know how unless that you want to wait. Unless we want to wait a week till the 11th. I should be able to do five. But we'll we'll wait until the 11th so it doesn't conflict with the select board meeting? Yeah, that's right. We could do that. So six o'clock on the 11th? 
would you prefer? I mean, you know, I'd prefer not to have a whole other meeting if we're already going to be here for another meeting. Do you guys care about meeting on the 4th or the 11th? <laughs> Just I can do I can do the fourth. I can do the. Why don't we do the we fourth, do the five fourth and, uh, yeah. at five o'clock? Right. And then do let's do the fourth at five o'clock and have, see right. Yeah. See how yeah. that works. We'll yeah. see how okay. that goes, and then we can set up Go another meeting. There. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point because you might need more than one. And oh, wait. the fourth at five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this one, this one. And then your meeting. I think you're meeting on the eleventh. Don't know what she said. Um, I, because we were doing the twenty third, so that we're doing the sixth, November sixth, oh. and then okay. we're doing um, okay. November twentieth. We're not going to do the twenty seventh, even if we had the meeting on the twenty seventh. Right. I would not. Right, we wouldn't. Okay. I put my yeah. foot down so um, before Thanksgiving, five. the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thank you. Just, I, can't I, I have also personnel, and I have yeah, you got income, to and I have, you know, yeah. thank you. <laughs> right, well, if we can do right. back and back, and if it works, yeah. and yeah. we'll give it a and try, and if than, we need to yeah, change it, then we'll change December, it. Plus, that way, be. maybe we'll get an idea on when the finance committee so, And the selectmen are, are supposed to be meeting on the 4th mm -hmm. and the 18th, so. we, right now. But we, Barbara, is there anything you want to add, or any thoughts? Um, I have thoughts, but nothing I want to add. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have thoughts. Barbara. <laughs> you saw it. Is that a nice way of... <laughs> no, I just, um, you know, in my head, I just timing the progress and when the borrowing has to happen and all that kind of thing. So it's just good for me to know, um, you know, the tempo of everything. So yeah, I don't have anything to say Okay. All right. I just Thank wanted you know. to make sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, so does someone want to make a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.